Laboratory models have been built to imitate many unusual effects that a tornado can create. These include multiple vortices and the ability to carry debris for long distances. One of the most ingenious researchers has been Dr. Ted Fujita. Dr. Fujita created a unique tornado model that had no walls and could be moved sideways while operating. That tornado model was eventually converted into a mechanism to study downbursts. Downbursts and the smaller microbursts are created when dry air causes precipitation to evaporate, cooling the air and causing it to sink at speeds of up to 150 miles per hour. The air may hit the ground and spread out, causing damage of such severity that people thought tornadoes were in progress. This is the first film ever taken of a tornado on an actual tornado chase. Neil Ward, one of the true pioneers of severe storm research, was guided to it by Oklahoma City radar. The position of a supercell with a weak echo region was relayed from Oklahoma City to a state highway patrol car that accompanied Neil. Always years ahead of his time, Neil Ward was the father of scientific storm chasing and the man who refined the multiple vortex tornado model. He also experimented with ideas such as how the outflow from one storm can enhance tornado formation in a nearby storm. In a great irony, he passed away in 1972, just days before the first organized storm chase would take to the road. Tornadoes have occurred in many places where we initially thought they were very rare.